hello and welcome let's reverse a linked list today so this is a is an easy question it's a linked list question and this problem i personally believe the knowledge of it forms the basics of solving other linked list related problem like if you solve more advanced linked list problems you would always find element of trying to reverse linked list not necessarily in this concept but the knowledge of this would really help in solving other linked list problems so i think this is a really good problem to solve and it's also pretty simple too as we can see we are given a linked list and we basically want to reverse it where our head is now our tail and our tail is now our head basically that's all we have to do now let's give ourselves some room and look at how we can approach this problem all right so we're giving a linked list and we want this output right what is one way that we can solve this one way that we can solve this is to basically use a two-pointer method and that is what we would be using because if you come to think about it what do really what do we really want to do we want to change the direction of these pointers currently one is pointing to two and two is pointing to three three is pointing to four and blah 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 but we want to reverse these pointers such that two now points to one three points to two four points to three five points to four and one points to none this way none becomes the tail and five becomes the head and we are going to return five as the new head since we've changed the pointers this question is really a pointer manipulation problem we want to change the direction of the pointers really and in the code solution we'll be showing we'll be solving this iteratively and recursively but what is the walkthrough how do we go about changing the point the direction of the pointers we change the direction of the pointers using a technique called two pointers now you know when solving linked list problem we need to have we are going to traverse that's pretty normal and we traverse we have our current pointer so this is where our current node is right we also need to have a previous pointer right now we have nothing in our previous pointer our previous pointer is pointing to none right because we have nothing we're just starting our traversal there is nothing previously and our current is the first element now we want to change this next pointer we want to break off the link between the next between the current and its current you know this is going to be the current dot next right this is current dot next now we want to break off this chain and point this to the previous we want to break off our current and point this to the previous so now we are going to have one now pointing to none right now this is this automatically becomes the tail then we move on to the next element in our linked list and we we update previous pointer right there are many things that's going to move that's going to be moving at once we have to keep a reference to this next to the former next of the current why because when we move the pointer when we change the direction of this one pointer to previous then we are breaking off a link between one or two so we need to store this variable in a different variable that will be stored in a different variable also once previous has been once we have changed the pointer we need to update our previous since we've updated this pointer previous is no longer going to be known but it's going to point to one now i realize that this might be a bit confusing and so i'm going to start it over so that coding it becomes more easy once you get the main idea behind it i don't buy the idea of writing code that you don't understand how the logic works but if you don't understand how the logic works then the code is going to be easy to conceptualize and know what's going on basically so we are declaring a previous pointer right we are trying to reference what we have previously starting out we have nothing previously through our traversal we have nothing previously it's pointed to none 
Now, to reverse this link list, we want to change the pointer. We want to break off this pointer, right? We don't want it to point to the next. We want it to point to the previous. Now, when it does point to the previous, you know that in a link list, all of the connections is made through their links now when we break off this link then effectively we are losing access to this and we do not want that so what are we going to do we have to store this in a separate pointer let's call that for now new ed right this is our new ed and recall that we've already changed the pointer of one the next is no longer its current next, but it's what we have in our previous. So effectively, we are saying that one is now pointing to the previous, and we know that the value of previous is null. After this is done, we want to update the value of previous. Previous is no longer going to be none because we now have a new previous, which is one. So previous is going to be the new node that we have looped through. So previous is now going to be set to one. Now we Go, we traverse over to our new head that we have stored. We have stored the value of this. Now, the current value, which is 2, we are going to break its pointer to its next and point it back to previous, like what we did with this. We pointed um, 1 back to previous, and previous was none because we just started the iteration and nothing had been stored yet, so it was none. Now, we want to turn the next of just like what we did with one we want two to point to the previous number and recall that we updated the previous number to be one so two effectively is going to be pointing to one i think that at this point you probably see where this is going then we move on to the next number when we move on to the next number, we break off its link to 4. Remember, as we are changing the pointer, we are also updating the previous. So previous is no longer 1. Previous is now 2. 3 now points to 2. Then we move on to 4 and break off its link to 5. And we say that, okay, its next is going to be the former previous. And former previous has been updated to 3. Now 4 points to 3 now. Then we move on to the last number, which is 5. 5 now points to the previous. Previous has been updated to 4. Previous has been updated to 4. And when we try to move, we can say that there is nothing left. Now, this is what we are left with. Now, we are going to return. We are going to return 5. Because 5 now carries the link that connects all of them together. It contains the link that connects all of them together. So effectively, what we are doing is we are manipulating pointers. We are breaking off the pointer from the next, but storing the previous somewhere because we don't want to lose track of that previous. And we are saying that, okay, we want you to point to what as the list that we had previously and not the next list. But so that we do not lose, because if we have a link like this, right? And we say that, okay, 2 no longer points to 3, 2 now points to some abstract list. Then effectively, we've lost all of this list. So we also need to store this reference in a different pointer. That is why this problem or this solution is just a manipulation of pointers. Now let's jump right into the code. All right, so we want to go ahead and solve this iteratively. And like we said during the code walkthrough, we want to define the pointers the previous node where we want to point the current node to is going to be initially none because at first we have nothing in the previous and we also want to make a reference to the head pointer called current which is also pointing to the head and now while current is not equal to none we want current the next to point to the previous we want the current we want previous recall that previous is no longer going to be known it's going to be what we currently have and that can be one two or whatever we wherever we are in the iteration then we also want to move our pointer our current pointer so that we're not stuck in an endless loop but if you can see from the code, we already changed current.next here. So we're not referencing current.next properly. 
so we have to store our next in a variable and this is what we're showing that we don't lose our pointer so since we already changed the next pointer we already changed the pointer of one from two one is no longer pointing to two it's now pointing to like none then we want to um i'm not sure i can see my arrow right now i want to store the two pointer this is what we are doing here so we're going to store it in a separate variable and this is what we are going to iterate so we are not stuck in an endless loop and then we can just return previous because we know that previous now contains a reference to our new edge that has been reversed we can try to run this and submit it and we can see that this works pretty fine now let's go ahead and solve this recursively first i want to define my own function since it will be calling itself i don't want to have to use this defined function um so we're just going to have our current and our previous current references the edge like we add when we solved it iteratively and previous is going to reference the list that we had stored previously and what is our base case our base case obviously is that if current is known then we simply want to return previous which is what we did iteratively where once we had gotten to the end of our traversal we are just returning the previous which is now the reference to the reversed list if this condition isn't true just like we did with the iterative we want to store our next the next um, li um list inside a nxt variable so we don't lose access to this basically and then we also want to update our previous pointer now we're also just going to return this function with our next basically we are calling the function of itself and incrementing it so we are not stuck incrementing it first we started with current now we're moving to current dot next and we're also going to pass in our current element because that will basically just mean that it is now the is not the reference to the previous basically and then we can just call this function with the arguments current is going to be add and um previous is going to is initially going to be known now we're going to run this and hopefully this works fine which it does i don't think i have discussed the um complexities this take a linear time operation and a linear space o of n time complexity and o of n space complexity and this is o of n space complexity because you know that recursion is just the call stack but the iterative solutions uses linear time and constant space because no extra memory is used see you in the next video thank you for watching